Hey everyone, so today I am filming an interesting video. I'm not sure if anyone's ever done this. I was just thinking of ideas in bed the other night and I came up with this idea. Like I said, I might not be the first person, but we're gonna dive into it. So basically, I am going to communicate with my Twitter following and get them to help me choose my makeup for the day. As you can see, I've already got my brows and base on because that's kind of boring. I'm gonna get them to help me with my eyeshadow, my lipstick, my blush, all of that kind of thing. They're gonna control it, they're gonna choose what I'm gonna use, they're gonna choose the colors, and I am going to put it on. I'm not gonna show them how it looks until the end. I could end up looking ridiculous or good, who knows. And I'm just going to basically like tweet and then choose one of the first replies. So it might not be the very first reply, it'll be one of the first replies of whatever I think will look cool or interesting or whatever or like challenging maybe, I don't know. I don't even know how this is gonna work, this is just like I'm just testing the waters, I don't know what's gonna happen. And of course I need to have the product that they're asking me to use as well. I mean my makeup collection is pretty extensive, I'm sure we will be fine. <laughs> so I'm going to send out the first tweet, I think we should start with eyeshadow. So let's see what eyeshadow palette you guys slash my Twitter followers want me to use. Okay, Twitter, I should have it. Choose one. Let's go. Okay, so Twitter is trying to do me dirty. <laughs> A few people said uh, the electric palette by Urban Decay. This is gonna be interesting, but also there are a few requests for the soft glam. So I reckon we do a combination because there's not really any like crease shades and highlight shades. I don't want to look like a disco ball today. Or like not a disco ball. I don't know. I don't know what I'd look like if I just like use that. But anyway, let's do a mixture, okay? Okay, you're trying to do me dirty. Let's use these two then. Now choose the colors. This is gonna be interesting. Seriously, you guys are trying to screw me over. Like, let's not try to hide it. Chaos in the crease, which is the bright blue, which I'm kind of excited about, I'm not gonna lie. A few requests for Freak, which is the green. <laughs> And then a few requests for rose pink from this palette, which is this one here. So I'm going to utilize those three colors and try to make it look good. And then I'm also going to use some neutrals just to help me blend it all together. Cross your fingers for me. Seriously, you guys, this is going to be interesting. Okay, let's see if I can pull it together though. So I'm going to take the shade Burnt Orange first from the Soft Glam palette. I'm just going to pop that straight away, just straight in the crease, just to have something there for the blue to kind of blend into. Since I'm apparently using Chaos in the crease, thank you. Thank you to the person who recommended that. <laughs> Seriously, like, I'm going to try my best to make this look good because it's just scaring me at this point. This is like extremely fun though. I'm excited to see how it all turns out. And if you guys like this video, let me know. I could definitely do some more like on Facebook or Instagram or who knows. Okay, so now I'm taking chaos into the crease. They were very specific with the crease instruction. So let's do it. I'm using a slim crease brush. I am terrified. I feel like this is going to be a disaster, but as I said, we're gonna try and make it work. So I'm going to slap that straight in the crease. I'm gonna build it up by the way. I'm just starting with like a little, little, little bit just to kind of, you know, dip my toe in and get used to this and try to figure out how I'm gonna make it work with the green and the pink too. You know what, I might turn it into a halo eye. Um, if I use that rose pink color in the middle, it could look okay, <laughs> maybe. And then I guess I'll have to put that green color on the lower lash line because there's nowhere else to put it at this stage, so. Let's do that. I'm sure it'll be okay. Positive thinking. This color is incredible. I feel like it would look so cool as a smoky eye um, if I didn't have to use green. <laughs> now I'm gonna go into the burnt orange shade again. I'm also going to use some of that rustic shade. I'm just gonna use these colors like kind of above the blue just to make it all look, you know, nice and blended hopefully. Okay, now I'm gonna spritz my little eyeshadow brush with some setting spray and I'm going to apply the rose pink shade which is this one right here. Man I really hope this turns out okay. Let's see we'll find out. It's gonna be the most screwed up part when I do the lip color because no one's gonna know what eye makeup I'm wearing so here we go. This color is so pretty. And you know what I'm gonna take a little bit of that really bright blue because gonzo it's this one here and I'm just gonna put that on the inner and outer just to give it a little bit more dimension. Someone did say to use all of them but I'm not prepared for that right now. Like, how bright is that? It's so cool. Okay, and then just taking a little bit more chaos and just making sure everything looks blended-ish. It's kind of hard when these colors are so like polar opposite. Okay, so we have that eyeshadow on. Now it's time to use the green. <laughs> 
So I'm just gonna dive straight in and just run this underneath the lash line. It's shimmery too. Eeh, this does not go. I like, I like don't think the top looks too bad now. Wow, we'll pull it together. We will, we always do, we can do it. There we go. Okay, and now I'm just going to go into the Soft Glam palette and just use whatever shade I can to highlight my brow bone. So we're gonna use Tempera for the record. I love both of these palettes and this palette here I love. I feel like it's the perfect like bridal kind of palette or if you just love neutral eyeshadows you'll love it but if you've already got like heaps of neutral eyeshadow palettes you probably won't like love this. I just love neutral palettes. <laughs> you know. And then I'm going to put some of that right on there in a corner. Okay I'm just going to put in some creamy color into my waterline and then I'll just ask everyone if I need to do liquid eyeliner like a wing or like what I'm doing. This is just the Colourpop eyeliner in Honey Dude. Okay am I doing winged liner or nah? Yes, no. Okay let's wait for a few more people to reply. Yes, no, yes, no. This is not helpful. <laughs> okay one more person said sure so I'm doing wing liner. Otherwise, we're gonna sit here all day. <laughs> Using my Tom Ford one. Which lashes shall I use? So people are saying, like a few people have said Cupid, but I kind of feel like using something different. Someone said Huda Beauty, and then someone said big and fluffy ones. So let's combine those two together. So I found these ones, which are big and fluffy, um, and they are by Huda Beauty. Samantha, so let's use these ones. By the way, the mascara I used was the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, if you were just wondering. Okay, I'm going to quickly contour with my next contour kit. Okay, Twitter, I have contoured which blush? Tarte, 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 Tarte Exposed. So lots of Tarte and someone specified exposed. So let's go with it if I have it. Okay, I don't. So I'm going to send a photo of the shades I do have. Okay, Tarte, these are the ones I have at the moment. Choose one. Someone asked why I'm not doing polls in this and it's just because I just wanted to be quite like live action. If I do a poll, um, obviously like we have to wait for a few people to actually participate. Whereas this way, it's just like, I'm just spying some comments and just going for it. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Everyone is saying fearless, like basically everyone, which is the middle one. So let's go with it. There was a couple of votes for tipsy too, but fearless definitely won. I have not even used this before. Well done guys. We're we're branching out. <laughs> I'm gonna use a little bronzer brush and just apply some of this. This does not go, but I mean, you guys are you guys are the rule masters. What? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm putting a decent amount on. I'm not gonna cheat and just do like none. And next up is highlighter. Okay, this is looking interesting. Which highlighter? We are almost done. Okay, lots of people have said Anastasia Beverly Hills and Reezy, Anastasia Beverly Hills and Reezy. Couple of votes for Becca, but I feel like ABH is one. So we're gonna do it. And this just happens to be my current favorite highlighter, so I'm pretty excited. I'm going to use it with a smaller face brush. Let's go intense today. This makeup's already like glowing. So, oh, not glowing. <laughs> what? Bright. So let's make our skin glowing. <laughs> That's what I was supposed to say. Something like that. Highlighter is done. Okay, now it's time for the lipstick. Okay, time for lipstick. Give me shade suggestions, brands, just whatever. I'll figure it out. Because I don't know if we're going to be able to do it just by like someone giving me a cut. We'll see. We'll see what comes up because... I don't know, there's just so many different lipsticks in my collection. Let's see. Okay, so majority says dark colors and also a dark red. And then someone said use something shimmery on top of it. <laughs> this is so out of my comfort zone and I don't know how I'm gonna make red look good with this eye makeup. I'm nervous. So I guess we'll go with like a matte liquid lipstick so that I can then put something shimmery on top of it. Oh man, what are you guys trying to do to me? Seriously. <laughs> to be fair, like, you guys don't know at this stage on Twitter, like, what this is looking like, so <laughs> you can't really give me a, you know, solid educated guess or, like, answer on what I should wear on my lips. Because I'm sure if you guys saw this happening, you probably wouldn't say dark red, but I'm doing it because that's what you guys want me to do. This is the darkest red I could find, and I am crapping myself. So this is Vampira by Kat Von D. You know what? That's probably, is that red or purple? Hold on, let me just like get one more option. That one's similar, but probably more red or else. Like, I feel like these are more like berry, you know? I feel like this red is a deep red, but this color here, I don't know what it's called. It's by BH Cosmetics. I've lost the label. 
So that's more red, isn't it? Rather than berry tone, and it's still very dark. So I think we'll go with this one. And I will link down below the color, because, yeah, I've lost the label off it. How annoying. Wow. <laughs> I wish I used a lip liner. What have I done? I'm going to have to conceal, because I'm messing up like no other. Okay, so... The lip topper I have here is called Rose Gold by Jouer. This is like the one I could find. I think the rest I donated in the end because I just don't really usually do this. So we're doing it today. <laughs> that smells so good. It smells like golden syrup. Holy crap. That's amazing. I want to eat it. Okay. I think I might keep it to like the center. That's cool, but wow. Does Zeus mind? I'm having a serious moment right now. <laughs> You know, I just decided to put it everywhere because it smelled so delicious and I regret that decision. But that's just life. They said a shimmery top coat, glittery top coat, whatever. So that's what I did. <laughs> okay. Final step. I just want a touch of like something on my inner corner. So let's see what you guys recommend. Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter, Glitter, Cute Glittery Sequins. The same highlighter I use, the highlighter I use. Glitter, glitter, glitter. The Stila Magnificent Metals definitely got a couple of little love hearts, so other people obviously agree. Let's do glitter and magnificent metals. So I'm just gonna keep it chill. I'm just gonna do Kitten, uh, Kitten Karma. This is the Glitter and Glow Magnificent Metal. We're just gonna do a little bit of that right on that inner corner. Ooh, this makeup just got more and more crazy as we went. That's fine, you know. Blend it a little bit. I feel like if I had a pink lip on, it would look like not look that bad, but it is what it is. Now glitter on top. I'm just gonna kind of match it, I guess. Maybe. Should we just go like all out crazy and do some little stars? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna use Barbie Shops, which has some blue iridescent to it. Um, so, oh, you can't really see in this lighting, but it does. It's got blue in it, okay? Hopefully you can kind of see the glitters. And just so you can see, here's a little close-up of all of the makeup. The lips are so cool, but, I mean, I'd normally maybe just wear it with, like, a black winged eyeliner and, like, no eyeshadow rather than blue eyeshadow, but there you go. <laughs> I like the inner corner, though. The inner corner's cool. This is how Twitter did my makeup. Let me know if you want to see some more of these. I don't know. I don't know if it was like the worst idea in the world or if it's like a cool idea or I don't know if I made it up or I didn't. Anyway, this is what I've done. This is what you guys chose for me. Um, hopefully you guys found this entertaining. I'm not sure if any of you will recreate this look, but let me know like what you thought of it. And let me know as well, like what would you change to make it more wearable? Like, is there one thing you would change? Maybe like the green or maybe the lip or like... What would you change to make this fun? Or would you wear it out like this? Like, are there any of you out there that think this looks amazing? I don't think it looks, like, hideous. But I definitely don't think it's something I would normally wear out of the house, if that makes sense. And I definitely think I'm going to change just to a nude lip after this. Just so that it's a little bit more wearable for the rest of the day. Because I'm doing a first impression on the KKW Beauty concealers. So you know. And with these nails, it just really sets it off, doesn't it? Like, wow. <laughs> There's so much happening. I had so much fun filming this. Like, no lie. I thought it was really cool. So, yeah. Let me know if you want more. I could definitely do some more. And, yeah. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.